the happiest places on earth may be getting less happy these days. Amusement parks across the country are facing this unprecedented amount of breakout fights now. Senior correspondent Laura Engel takes a look for us. Hi, Laura. Jillian, the list of unamusing incidents happening at amusement parks around the country continues to grow as fights, threats, and bad behavior have forced some theme parks to step up security and in some cases change safety policies to help curb crude conduct. Another aggressive incident caught on camera at a big name venue. This one unfolding at a parking garage at the Universal Orlando City Walk over the weekend. As police say a group of juveniles were going at each other, prompting the Orlando Police Department to use batons to break up the fight. Police evacuating the area, telling residents and park goers that the commotion did not involve any gun violence. There were no arrests and no weapons found on the scene. Just days after we told you about this brawl that broke out between families at Disney World's Fantasyland, which led at all those who were involved on the Disney Band for Life list, a different fight broke out on Disney World grounds. This time, tempers flaring between park goers boarding a tram at Magic Kingdom. The incident was a verbal altercation between one group on the car and others in line. And over on See the them beating the shit out of them? chaperone policy put in place at Knott's Berry Farm is reportedly getting well-received reviews after the first weekend of its implementation. Kids need to be watched and need to be responsible, and a lot of kids like to mess around. The policy went into effect after multiple fights broke out last week. And in Portland, Oregon, staff at the Oaks Amusement Park had to clear the grounds the other night after a fight broke out between minors, which escalated into an overheard threat to, quote, shoot up the park, which could not be confirmed. The Portland police say they received a call from park security that there might have been a knife involved in this fight, but one was never found. There are still many more weeks of peak amusement park activity ahead of us, with the last official day of summer being September 22nd. So hopefully the guests gone wild trend will fizzle out soon. Jillian, Laura.